everybody you are watching tutorials and in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to design this letter v or letter u logo in adobe illustrator let's start with a new document Control n or command n to bring up the new document panel and i'm gonna size this document with 1920 by 1080 click create i have already created my one and first of all let's Click Ctrl Quote or Command Quote on your Mac to show the grid and Ctrl Shift Quote, Command Shift Quote to snap to the grid. You can also find these options here. View, Hide, Show Grid and Snap to the Grid. Grab the Ellipse tool by clicking L. Hold Shift, Hold Alt and create a perfect circle that occupies 320 pixels of width and height and position it on the grid lines. Now I want to make a duplicate with Ctrl C, Ctrl F, Command C, Command F on your mark, and I down this duplicate to the width and height of 200 pixels. As you see, it's three cells from each side of this duplicate. Ctrl C, Ctrl F again, and I'm gonna size down this duplicate on the 80 to the 80 pixels. So. Again, three cells from here and three cells from here. Now let's mark our middle with the rulers or guides. So Ctrl R, Command R to show the rulers and grab the horizontal guide and position it right in the middle of this target shape. Let's grab the line segment tool or click slash on your keyboard and I'm gonna create vertical line that starts from the middle of my target shape, tangent to the outer circle, you see it here, and has a length around 240 pixels or three large cells, three large modules of my grid. So you see, height of 240 pixels. Keep it selected and hold Alt, hold Shift to move to the straight line, move your line 60 pixels to the right. You see it here and create a duplicate, of course. Ctrl D to repeat this operation. While you have the three lines, you need to again duplicate them by dragging and holding Alt key. And move it to this side of your target shape. Now we have six tangent lines from each side of our circles. Now we need to position another guide two cells on the top of my shape so let me show a little bit my guides i think i need to also guys show guides so we are ready almost ready to final design we can also make this sense you can select this middle line from this side and holding shift key draw a marquee around the top of your middle line on this side. Make sure that you use a direct selection tool and select only top points. You see the bottom points are hollow here. And you can extend it up to this guide. You see it here. And now we are ready to log this layer. And on the new one, click on this icon to create a new layer. I need to grab the pen tool or click P and create this rhombus shape to combine all of our lines. And you can also duplicate these rhombus shapes here on this side of my shape. So we have all needed elements and we are ready to combine everything. So unlock this layer by clicking on the padlock, Ctrl A, Command A to select everything, grab a shape builder tool, Shift M on your keyboard and select this U shape here, outer U shape and U shape in the center and also select this tube in the center. So we have this kind of design. We can delete unnecessary elements. We can delete these uh, lines. 
we don't need them anymore and as you can see i have some issues here with my lines of course i can remedy this issue by selecting this uh, anchor points let me delete this guide anchor points and align them to the sides uh, but it is better for us of course to spend some time aligning our lines and circles you, you can use Ctrl Y, Command Y and work on the outline view. But for now I'm pretty satisfied with the result. I want to draw a marquee around the top of my shape and uh, decrease the size of my shape with the direct selection tool. So let me grab, find the free point, uh, holding shift key you see, so I don't accidentally move it to the lines only in the one direction so select everything and scale it down now i have a very nice u shape and you can convert it to the uh, v shape by clicking shift c or grabbing the anchor point tool and convert all middle points here on this middle vector to the uh, straight points so we need to actually delete the direction handles select now this shape and delete the uh, direction handles and this is how you can convert it to the v shape and last but not least last but not least select this in uh, shape inside and uh, wrap this gradient and uh, for my gradient, I have a simple liner gradient with the two colors F1, C060 and C9, 6E, 6E. I want to also replicate this gradient to outer line and to these rhombus shapes here. Now I want to allocate my gradient properly. So assume that I have a light source here. And I have this light side and also a reflective shadow here. So I need to basically reverse the gradient in this side. You see it here. Now it's better for braids and has more logic here. Again, I have uh, a reflective shadow at the beginning of my shape. So I need to reverse the gradient or grab the gradient tool and align it properly and you, you see i extend my gradient line beyond my shape uh, do the same here so i have the light source here and i have a reflective shadow here as well so let me do it all up. so so far so good this is how you can create this wonderful letter v or letter U shape, it depends whether you want to delete the direction handles in the middle or you want to keep it uh, sm nice and smooth. And last but not least, you can go to the Recolor Artwork tool and edit your colors here. So uh, navigate around your wheel and select your colors. So this is how you can create this letter V shape here in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, share this tutorial with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. And as always guys, you can see a free link to my best course on Udemy.com. So subscribe to Udemy.com, enroll in my course and beta and become two times, three times more valuable in Adobe Illustrator.